do a quick video tutorial in KCD about how your job files are stored or where they're stored. So let's take a quick look at where that's controlled. If you come up to your change file menu item here in the file menu and then come down to edit system, edit startup, and then choose the miscellaneous folder. You've got some various tabs up here at the top, but choose that miscellaneous tab and you'll see down here in this job directory location this is where it's controlled from and the default setting is not ideal in my opinion so here you have this save jobs in standard KCD folder and that's the default setting and the auto setting and so the cat jobs and whether you save them or go to open them it'll always look there for them now when you're looking for them you're not looking in a false file structure but if you did need to find your jobs in the file structure, if you came here and started scrolling through the, the, the default location, your job files would be in here, but they'd be all in amongst all the code and all of that. And that's not a bad way to start KCD, just to just come to a job and double click on it, depending on what your processes are. But this is just not ideal that all these jobs live here in the KCD folder, especially if the KCD folder is not in some sort of cloud based system like OneDrive or Dropbox. So your other options are we have the save jobs to their original folder. Now this will require you to, to browse to your jobs because once you have that structure of I have a folder for the you know Smith Builders and Jones Builders then then you're just going to come into the KCD folder and then you're going to have to browse down through that folder if you choose this option and then have multiple folders beneath your KCD folder. The option that I prefer myself personally is this choose a directory from the list. I also need to browse. I can't just put them all in one folder, although you could, but I, I really like my jobs to be segregated into folders. But if you don't care to segregate them into folders, a lot of people will just have a current folder just called KCD jobs. And then they'll have um, a folder that they create each year for the, the past year's jobs. And it'll so it'll be KCD jobs 2019 and they'll move everything out of that and then start another KCD jobs folder uh, each year and that way they're not looking at every job they ever did but two things I recommend to use this option or at least this option rather than that option and then just browse to the location now you do have to come up here and double click on this C to get to where you want to go it doesn't just let you browse through anywhere you want you got to double click on it to see what's on your hard drive so I'm at my C drive now now where this was pointing before was right here to the KCD folder and where I'm going to point it is to Dropbox because Dropbox is a cloud service so my jobs are actually backed up in the cloud in addition to being on my hard drive as long as you have their little you see their little icon here if you have their little app installed on your computer then your job files would be stored on your computer so if you're remote you don't have internet access you can still open them and work on them and then the next time you get internet access it'll sync those jobs that are in the cloud but your jobs are saved in the cloud and then you just have your folder here so that's the my recommendation would be to have this structure using this third option and then browse to some cloud solution like OneDrive or Dropbox and have a KCD jobs folder in it and then below that it's up to you if you just had one folder then every time you come here say file open job then you'd just be seeing all of your jobs right here you wouldn't be have you know you just scroll through here and find the job you're looking for so I hope that was helpful thanks for watching